Cool. <laughs> So today we're going over a couple of progressions that we're gonna bring our classes through for the true form runner to get these guys up to speed and comfortable using this machine. Um, the first thing that we'll have a new athlete do is just side by side in the center of the true form runner, right? So that they're not on the belt is how they're gonna step up to the machine. And first step will be to instruct the athlete to stand right in the middle of the belt. They can get themselves comfortable there if they need to with the handles, but just to make sure that they're able to stand without that support in the center of the belt. Right? Um, great place to start the athlete is just to show them what's happening underneath their feet while they're marching up and down in place. Right? Gary, go ahead and give me a march. Right? Now, always having the athlete looking straight ahead is a big help. We really don't want them looking at their toes, right? Looking at that sight line ahead as if you're running outside is huge. But at this point, we can tell the athlete to take a peek down and notice that the belt is moving under their feet while they march. And then Gary just come to a stop. Awesome. Right? Next step is that we have to walk before we can run. Right? So with that same idea in mind, we want the athlete to look ahead of us, long sight line, and just start to take a couple small steps forward until that belt is moving smoothly underneath their feet. And then it can start to open up the stride a little bit into a more comfortable walking pace. Right? Small steps just to feel that belt start to move without stepping too high on the curb and having too much of a pull underneath the foot. And then Gary, slow down and comfortably come to a stop. Great. Which would be the next step? And if at any point the athlete does become uncomfortable with balance, the handles are there to grab, right? Having them go back into the walk a couple of times. Gary, go back into that walk on and off, on and off, will give them comfort with bringing that belt up to speed and then being able to slow it down. And after a few trials, when the athlete is ready, they can then pick up into a jog. Always instructing them still to look ahead. They will want to look down at their toes. And when comfortable, into a run. And Gary, you can come to a stop. At any point as they're starting to pick up speed and becoming more comfortable with speed on the true form, having them come back down to a stop is always a great way to help an athlete feel safer increasing that velocity uh, on the machine. Other than that, that is the